All right, in today's video, we're gonna be downgrading an iPad 2 back to iOS 6. And I know what you're thinking, this iPad's already on iOS 6. Yes, that's correct. It is on 6.1.3, but I'm gonna update it to iOS 9 and then downgrade it again. So you can see that whole process and see that it is fully working. So first, let's get in here to the iPad and we're gonna update it through um, the Mac so that it goes faster because otherwise we'll have to go from iOS 6 to iOS 8 to iOS 9. But with the computer, we can just go straight to iOS 9. And once that finishes, we'll come back and get a look at this iPad on iOS 9. All right, the iPad is finished updating. Here we are on iOS 9. So I'm gonna go through the setup for this and make it to the home screen and we will go from there. All right, here we are, here's the iPad 2 and it is now on iOS 9.3.5 and it is, it is the exact same one. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna downgrade this back to iOS 6. It's gonna be an untethered downgrade meaning you can restart the iPad, you can restore the iPad, you can reset it. It will not change, it is pure iOS 6. So, without further ado, what we're gonna need here is, we're gonna need to boot into Windows 10 in order to do the rest of these steps. So I actually, this boot camp is not working, so I'm gonna switch computers and we're going to get into Windows 10 and we'll go from there. All right, here we are in Windows. And for reference, this is a 2016 MacBook Pro 15 inch, but this, this should work on any Windows 10 computer. So we're going to want to download a few things. And I have them already over here, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I've, I've learned Firefox to be the, uh, the most reliable for these downloads. I don't know why, but so step one, we're going to go to three U tools. Let me move in closer here. <clears throat> and we're going to want the newest version of three U tools. So it looks like that's 2.6.5. That's the one we want. We're going to download that. All right. Once that's downloaded, we can open it. and install it. All right, now that we're in here, we can see we've got the iPad 2, white, iOS 9.3.5. We want to jailbreak it. So we're going to click jailbreak now, and it should give us Phoenix here. We're going to start the jailbreak. Now, it's going to ask for an Apple ID. You can enter your own, or you can do what I've done, which is make like a a backup Apple ID that's just purely for this, um, just to be safe. So you're gonna enter your Apple ID and then click OK. Now, here's what happens. Windows thinks this is a threat. So we need to turn off Windows Defender. So you're gonna go into settings and find virus and threat protection. Then I believe we're gonna go to manage settings and then turn off real-time protection. You're gonna want that off and you're gonna want all these off as well. So if, if you're doing this on your main computer, you're gonna to wanna to turn this back on after you finish with the jailbreak or after you finish downgrading. So we'll go back, start the jailbreak again. It's gonna want Apple ID. Now, once it finishes, the iPad should bring us to a screen where we're gonna trust the um, Phoenix like jailbreak thing. All right, I paused here because it showed my real Apple ID, but you're gonna trust whichever one comes up for you and then go back to the home screen. We're gonna go to Phoenix, prepare for jailbreak, 
accept, dismiss, proceed, begin installation. It's going to say storage is almost full. That's fine. You're going to use provided offsets. Storage almost full. It's not. Just click done. And it's going to work on installing Cydia. Sometimes this process takes a couple tries before it gets it. So we'll see if that's the case here or if it finishes right away. In the meantime, what you can do is close out of this and go back to the 3U Tools website. And now we want to go to previous versions. And you're going to scroll down until you find version 2.38 right here. Now you want to download this. Back on the iPad, we've got Cydia. Let's see if that works. And on the computer, you can open this 2.38 version of 3U Tools and install it. It should overwrite the version that we used to jailbreak. While all that is working, we're gonna go back into Firefox and we're gonna do 3U Tools iOS 6 and click enter. This is the link you want, the downgrade iPhone 4S iPad 2 to iOS 6.1.3. Click that and you're gonna scroll down. There should be some links right here. So depending on which iPad you have, if you have the iPad 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, or if you're doing this on an iPhone 4S, you will click the link corresponding to your device. So I have the iPad 2.1. You can see that in 3U Tools, and you're gonna to wanna to allow this download. Okay, back on the iPad, return to Cydia. Um, Sometimes this step's iffy. iffy. I'm just gonna do the complete upgrade and see if that works. All right, Cydia crash, we're gonna open it again. So on the computer, we've got our IPSW. We'll just drag that to the desktop, somewhere we know which one it is and where it is. And we've got our older version of 3U tools ready to go once the iPad is set up just how we need it. So back on the iPad, we're in Cydia. Whatever it takes to get here, you'll have to mess around with it. But we're gonna go into sources, click edit, and then add. add. Okay. And the one you want is this right here. You're gonna type that in right there. So that is going to be, so we've got that part. Then we're going to type Luke Z G D dot get hub dot I O slash reap O click add source. Hopefully this works. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the sources get messed up. This is the one that worked for me last time. I hope it still does. Return to Cydia and okay, here we go. Here it is. So it did work for me. If it doesn't work for you, try it a couple times. See if you can get it. We're going to go to all packages and find KDFU app. That's the one you want. Then you're going to install this and whatever else comes with it is fine. Click confirm and let it do its thing. All right, now we're ready to go. We're gonna go find KDFU app on the home screen, open it, and we're gonna select these one by one. And sometimes they take a few tries to get, then we're gonna click enter KDFU. And the iPad should go black. All right, now we're back to the computer. Remember this is 3U Tools, three point, sorry, what is it? 2.38. So what we're gonna do is we need our iPad to show up here. 
Let me unplug it and plug it back in. There we go. So we are going to go flash. We're going to click Pro Flash and import firm import firmware. Now you're going to find the one, the iPad 2. Dot whatever your version is. Um, I've got two of these because I downloaded one today and I downloaded one a while ago. So this is the one I downloaded today. You can see the date. You're going to click open. Now you're all set. You're going to click flash and flash anyway. Now this step takes a while. What it's doing is it is importing that firmware onto the iPad and you will know it worked when you see the iOS 6 Apple logo on the iPad screen. And here it is. See that? iOS 6 there. And basically this thing is going to go through the process of installing iOS 6 from the computer onto the iPad. And once that finishes, we'll go through the setup and you guys can see what a downgraded but untethered iOS 6 iPad 2 looks like. All right, the iPad is finished. Here we are on the iOS 6 setup screen. So let's just breeze through that real quick. It's always a pleasure to uh, go through the setup on iOS 6. All right, here we are. Here's the iPad downgraded to 6.1.3. Look at that. And this is, uh, this is fully untethered. It's the same iPad from the beginning of the video that we upgraded to iOS 9 and then brought back down. And everything is working as it's supposed to. Cameras work. Um, you can sign into iCloud, you can sign into iMessage, whatever you want. This thing is ready to go. So I hope that video was helpful. If you run into any problems or have any questions, please leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you. And this technique works on the iPhone 4S as well. I believe it's just the iPhone 4S, is it the 4.1 maybe? Yeah, I don't remember exactly which one it is, but it's on that 3U Tools page. So, without further ado, that's going to end this video. And stay tuned for the next one.